Hi, I'm Pete, and this is a very special travel unboxing. That's right, we have an HK Now store unboxing while I'm on the road here in Ottawa, Canada. That's my hometown and the capital of Canada. So uh, what happened was I ordered this puzzle and uh, it arrived quite quickly, but it just so happened that I was leaving for this trip to Ottawa. So I figured, well, let's just bring it along and we'll unbox it. So uh, we have uh, here a uh, bubble envelope rather than a box. Um, it's been thoroughly crushed, but uh, I think it'll be okay. I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm cautiously optimistic. Uh, it, I don't know. There's, there's not a lot of padding in there, but I think it'll be okay. So uh, here we go. Um, let's, uh, let's get into this then. So uh, we have to use a scary box cutter. Uh, I didn't bring any of my knives along, so watch out. Okay, I, I think that worked. I think we got it. Okay, yeah, yeah box cutter worked. I'll put that away before anybody gets hurt. And here we go. So what's in the bubble envelope? Okay, so empty bubble envelope. So you don't need that anymore. And we got a card. Oh, this is Tiffany used card again. Let's take a look here to get a better, better view of that. Okay, so I guess uh, Tiffany is uh, the one giving us uh, uh, her cards now rather than Calvin, so that's fine. Um, and here we go. So we see the puzzle kind of peeping through here. Nice MF8. Um, and you see it has a crazy unicorn. It's not that. Uh, ooh, d -Seth. Ooh, that hasn't been released yet, has it? That's interesting. I I remember that being announced and I haven't seen it. Um, the Scooby Copter Plus, which is really kind of fun. Ooh, Twin Scoob, two by two. Hmm, I, I might need to look at that one. Oh, this is the one we're going for. Double Crazy Cube. That's the one I ordered. And uh, Kirby Copter 3, which I already have, and the Duo Axis Cube. I'm not a big Axis. Well, I guess the Axis is probably okay. I'm not a big Ghost Cube, though. It looks a little too much like a Ghost Cube for me. Anyway, um, no babies. Uh, yeah, no babies. Zero to three. So blow out that four candle cake, and then you're good to go. All right. Um, this is a very interesting box. Um, 62 millimeter hexahedron puzzle hmm and then it gives you the shop mf8-china.com um very good wow and then then i'm not quite sure what it says in chinese here but you can read that okay so this was one of those very rare times when i just went for one puzzle from uh, the hk now store and whoa <laughs> there's some pretty bright uh stickers here uh, and so there it is, the double crazy cube. That's what it is, right? The double crazy cube. Uh, I am really, really uh, happy to, to finally get this. I, I really thought that this would be out a lot sooner, but here it is. So obviously um, regular three by three and yeah, turns really nicely, wow. Uh, that's that's great. Okay, and I can see something already. I see that this inner face is stationary, but the ring and the rest of the face are turning. So that, that's an interesting um, because that's that's one of the questions is how does this actually turn? Now this one's a little different because now the both the inner circle and the inner ring are stationary. Ah, okay, so this is going to be something. And this one uh, is just uh, the whole face is stationary. Okay, so I think part of this then is going to be figuring out which phases do, do what. Now, I understand you can change them around. I'm not quite sure how that works, uh, but we'll, we'll figure, it, figure it out. This is my understanding is that you can somehow configure it any way you want. So 
basically like the crazy planets. But yeah, that that uh, extra ring is going to add some some interest. So let's see that one. Okay, so the yellow and the white have the same setup. So which means that we should be able to do something like that. Ooh, oh, that is very wow. That is something. I like that. Wow. Okay, now let's see if I can get this back. <laughs> Scramble it right away. Wow, I, that's, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. So we see the MF8 logo. This is very nice and crisp on there. And then we have uh, Dana on there. So I actually don't know, um, I guess that must be the inventor of the double crazy uh, cube. Uh, I wish I knew a little bit more about uh, about that and how that logo logo came on uh, to be on there. Wow, that's uh, that's great. This is going to be a lot of fun uh, trying to figure out how to solve it and figuring out what what other configurations it can uh, it can go in. So so that the, the um, white and yellow have the same setup. That's a that's a full. Okay, and uh, the blue and uh, the blue and green have the same setup. Huh. Okay, and the red and orange have the same setup. So yeah, so the, and those are all three configurations, right? I think you. Yeah, so you have just the outer the outer face turns. You have nothing turns, and then you have just the inner face turns. Yeah, that's that's all three possibilities. So. That is very, very cool. So, okay, so that was a corner, that was a corner turn. Um, and I can see that we, we did a few things. So, let's see if this works. Uh-oh. Okay, that was another one. And then one more. Uh-oh. I think I've got some things. <laughs> so I managed to um, uh, cycle some of these uh, pieces around. That is neat. I wonder if I can fix that. Oh, boy. Wow, okay, so I managed to get my uh, puzzle scrambled a little wee bit right off the start, and um, that is just perfectly fine. I'm gonna figure out how all that works, and um, have a lot of fun with the crazy three by three puzzle. So uh, what's next? Are they gonna come up with a uh, four layer version of this, a five layer version of this? Uh, I'm really, really curious to see what's gonna uh, come out uh, from uh, uh, MF8 uh, next. All right, well, that's it for my travel puzzle unboxing. I got my crazy three by three puzzle. Already scrambled it. Gonna have a lot of fun uh, trying to figure this out. Uh, as always, I appreciate your comments, your questions, and suggestions. Do let me know what you think in the comments. I'm curious to know if this is a puzzle for you or if uh, perhaps you're waiting for a stickerless version. Uh, let me know in the comments. All right. Well, until next time. Thanks for watching. All right. There's some bonus content for the uh, Double Crazy Cube. So uh, during the unboxing, I um, did a little maneuver, just a little corner rotation, and I got all of these uh, pieces uh, swapped around. And I guess I'm just curious to know, um, if we keep going, uh, does it ever fix? I, I think it should, 
Uh, but let's let's just uh, try it here anyway. So this is just a regular a two by two corner rotation, right? And every time you do this maneuver, it it rotates the corners. But of course, on this puzzle, it's going to do something else. Now every three of these, it should um, also go back. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So if you do the corner rotation three times, uh, it should put everything back. And it looks like the first time you do it, it puts everything back, but not these inner pieces. And then I guess the second time you do it, it I think that's what I did. Uh, it does put everything back. So if I had just kept going, that's what would have happened. This is really very cool. And it kind of shows you the sorts of things that, that I would do uh, to figure out a puzzle like this, just to try and figure out what moves uh, and, uh, you know, when you do certain things. So I would do the down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Curious to see that. It did flip those around, but it also moved these other pieces. So that's something that's kind of cool to uh, to cool to, to figure out. So now if I wanted to undo that, I think I would just start from the other side. And of course, there's always a risk that you'll um, scramble the puzzle, but eh, it's all part of the fun. All right, well, that's it for the bonus content, and I'm out of here.